Hello and welcome to the Adam and Val YouTube channel. Bird's eye potato waffles, awfully versatile, waffly versatile. Potato waffles aren't a new product, they've been out for years and years and years. The reason for this video is that any of you who are fans of Ashleen B, who's got a brilliant two series of her comedy she wrote this way up on Channel 4 and on the Channel 4, all four player at the moment. She wrote this, starred in it, produced it, sang the theme tune, done the lighting, done the makeup. Ashling has said how much she loves potato waffles, and she puts them in the toaster, two cycles, and these frozen potato waffles become the snack we all know and love, rather than faffing about putting them in the oven. So thanks, Ashling, because we're going to try this on our channel. We're going to put the one potato waffle that was left in the the state of the box, look. There was one left. So for the purposes of this video, we have only got one waffle left. So we're gonna whack it in the toaster. Two cycles. On the packet, it says, until golden brown. Ashling swears by, whack your toaster to the full highest setting and do two cycles at the full highest setting. Now I'm wondering if that might burn it. So we will keep an eye on it. Let's get it in the toaster, let's see if you really can toast a bird's eye potato waffle. Of course you can, we don't disbelieve Ashlyn and we don't disbelieve what the instructions say on the back of the bird's eye box. Well, let's get it in and see how it comes out. So while we're waiting for the waffle to cook, there's this ongoing theory that the numbers on the dial of your toaster represent minutes. But on the Comfort Eating podcast with Grace Dent, where I heard Ashlyn say how to cook the potato waffles. Grace has revealed that that isn't minutes. Now, I've never timed it. I've never put it on full whack before. I can't see that seven is seven minutes. I'm wondering if it's a sales ruse or it's just one of those urban myths. Let us know in the comments if that does represent minutes. So it's cooked. Two cycles at full heat. It's quite hot to hold it because it's just come out the toaster. I was trying to film it pop up out the toaster, but the lens was getting hot on the camera. So because it's a new phone, I didn't want to ruin it. And as I moved the phone away thinking, oh, that's gonna, I weren't too close, but the heat rises, doesn't it? And as I moved away, it popped up. So I missed the reveal. But what I will say is forget the instructions on the box because this has come out perfectly. Ignore bird's eye, listen to Ashley because she has nailed it. I'm quite sure there's a lot of tried and tested practices to get the perfect potato waffle and she has found out exactly how to do it. Bird's eye just need to put, put on the packet, the cooking instructions, full whack on your toaster, two cycles, simple as. <laughs> now Max loves a potato waffle. I'm never gonna use the oven again. When he asked for these, it is perfectly cooked. It's perfect brownish. It's not too brown. It's not too dark. It's come out perfectly. Thanks, Ashlyn, for the tip. And if, like her, you want to know what to have your potato waffles with, I'm eating it like this because I've only got one in the box, as I said. Try some spaghetti oops. If you want to follow in her footsteps. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time for more stolen ideas off celebrities on the Adam and Val YouTube channel. Always put them in your toaster from now on. But will it work with mini waffles? <laughs>